Hey folks, if you remember a few videos back, I had a bit of an issue with my seasoning. It's been a few weeks now, so I wanted to update you on how that's going. Since that video post, I've been trying to use my uh, 10 inch fry pan on a daily basis on the stovetop. I've used it consistently to cook weekend breakfasts for my family to develop that crust. It started to look good. I cooked some pad thai in my last video but the sauce contains some vinegar. I was concerned. Acid is not a good thing for seasoning. Anyway, after I shot that video, I came home and had to immediately go to a birthday party. Unfortunately, I didn't get to cleaning the fry pan until the next day. I literally woke up in a panic. Here's what it looked like right after the cleaning. There is clearly some flaking, but it was all my fault. I was a bit too aggressive with scrambling the eggs in the pan in my last video. Using my $10 toaster oven, I threw on two layers of grapeseed oil, each layer cooked at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Look at what happened. Looks like it never happened. Let's get a close up of this. With the light on it, you can really see that it's not black, which is good. It's more of a dark mahogany color. In natural light, it looks much, much darker. It's really starting to get that old cast iron vibe. The only update to the process I would make is to just do all layers at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Using the pan will get the seasoning to that carbonization point. This 10 inch firebox fry pan has been a wonderful addition to my cook kit. I'm gonna continue testing the seasoning process, but I think I can finally put it to rest and really stop worrying about my seasoning. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you wanna see more cooking with this pan, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, folks, and have a good burn.